If you want to be a better speaker, a better presenter, a better storyteller, then you need to know that there is a secret structure hidden in all the great talks. This structure has been used by Martin Luther King Jr., Steve Jobs, Maya Angelou, anybody that has had the ability to captivate their audience for long periods of time, great orators that have influenced the world through their speeches. They use this structure, and you can too when you need to persuade someone. Now that could be because you're trying to get a new job, that could be because you're trying to find investors for your startup, you're trying to get someone to purchase your book or adopt your idea or buy your product or service. Anytime you need to motivate someone to take action, you can use this structure. Now this comes directly from Nancy Duarte. Duarte Inc., her company, studied thousands of great speeches, the Gettysburg Address, I Have a Dream speech, and revealed that almost all of them share this same structure. Here's the great news. It's super simple. You simply start with what is the status quo, the current situation for your industry, your idea, etc. And then you show what it could be if people adopted your idea or bought your product or service. And then you go back to what it is currently and what it could be, what it is now and what it could be. Here's the trick. You want to widen that gap as much as you can so that when they hear what the status quo is, they understand the problems inherent in that. They feel like they don't wanna live in a world where that is their life, that is their business, that is their journey. And on the flip side, when you paint the picture of what could be, you make it feel enticing to them so that they listen to that and they're like, oh my God, that's, I want that for my life. I want that for my business. That's the world I want to live in. And you stretch that gap so they understand that this is what they're aiming for. And you simply follow that rhythm of what is and what could be all the way to the climax of your presentation where you show them if they adopt your idea or buy your product or service, the new norm, the new bliss, the transformation that you are guaranteeing them. This, my friends, is the essence of storytelling. All great stories are about transformation, some change that has happened. And you have to promise that change for them too. That if they adopt that idea, things will transform in their lives, in their business, and they will be in a better place than where they started. Now here's another thing I want you to notice. If you see this back and forth, this snake-like pattern, that's not by happenstance. That is the way all stories are built. Nancy mentions this in her talk. She says in her TED talk that has been seen by millions that anytime you present a new idea or challenge the status quo, you will be met with resistance. People will resist your idea too. And just like a sailboat that's going against the wind, the way you cut through the resistance is going back and forth, just like that sailboat, up and down. And this, is the inherent rhythm to all great stories. A back and forth, an ebb and flow. You increase the tension and then you release the tension. You open a loop and then you close the loop. That is the rhythm of storytelling and that lures your audience in. They are captivated by what you're saying because of that rhythm. It's almost like you're hypnotizing them. And they follow you all the way through that rhythm until you get to the point where you show them the new normal that they could have and they are so motivated to take action because of that rhythm and the picture you've painted along the way. So I want you to try this out. This is one of those things that's so simple that we often overlook it and we overcomplicate it because it can't be that simple, right? It is. And you need to look no further than Nancy Duarte's TED Talk where she looks at all the great speeches over time and reveals that they use this same exact structure. I want you to use it the next time you have a pitch, speech, or presentation that you have to convince someone to see the world the way you do.